Hello, church family. I realized that it's been quite some time since we've given you an update regarding the new worship center. Uh, a lot has been taking place, and if you've been looking through the window in the lobby, you've seen a lot of that progress. Uh, a lot of the walls have been built. You've seen a drywall being put up. Uh, there's a storage on the left side of the uh, platform where the platform will be uh, that uh, you've seen being built up. Uh, over here, which you can't see from the window, is the main entrance to the new worship center. Uh, and then over here is a bump out, as we've called it, uh, that uh, we will be removing over the next few weeks to allow for a, a little bit more space along the back of the worship center. Lord willing, in the near future, in the coming uh, weeks, we'll be having an electrician come in to start their work of adding power to the, the new worship center. Uh, audio video is actively being worked on. Uh, we have carpet that's being ordered. We've been working on uh, finding the right chairs to add to our current chairs so we have enough in the new worship center. Uh, we have lights that are being worked on. So many different facets of the project. And what I want to really impress upon you is excitement. E excitement for the possibility that we could move into the new worship center in September. That's our goal. Everything is kind of working toward uh, that goal of moving in sometime in the month of September before the Andrew Peterson concert. That would be what we are praying for and asking the Lord uh, if, if we can do that. And in order for that to happen, there's going to be an extraordinary, extraordinary need for our church body to come together and serve. Uh, there are various aspects where we need skilled workers and unskilled workers, people to serve in various facets of the project over the next three months. And I would encourage you to consider how can you or your family, perhaps your small group or your group of friends, uh, how can you work together and accomplish some aspect of the project here over the next few months? There's always folks here working on Saturday. That's a great day to come. Just show up unannounced and you will be put to work. Uh, call, contact Bill or Greg. And if there's a time that you have beyond Saturdays, I'll let them know and see if there's something that you can be doing uh, uh, on other days of the week. Uh, but we all need to work together and uh, use the, the time and the abilities, experience, and frankly, just the strength and the hands that the Lord has given us to uh, see this project come to fruition. On top of that, I would ask you to pray. Pray that the Lord would help us get this done by September or in September. Uh, praise the Lord for his provision. Uh, pray for wisdom in all of the coordination and the wisdom that's needed uh, to keep all the components organized and contractors and material purchases and all of those things. Uh, pray that the Lord would protect workers who are often doing uh, dangerous tasks. Uh, so many different things, but we need to be praying and praising the Lord uh, for what he's done and uh, thanking him for his faithfulness and goodness to us in this project. But we're excited to see how this will all come together. A lot will be happening here in the near future, and it would be great to have you as part of that.